CUETUG 2023 Banaras Hindu University to begin undergraduate admissions today. Ratish Kumar discovers universal diversibility formula. Assam to scrap class 10th board exams from next year, CM announces. MP board 5th and 8th revised results out, 89,000 more students qualified. Indian students facing deportation from Canada. Punjab Minister seeks centers intervention. Reopening of schools in Puducherry postponed to June 14, CM says. Good afternoon and warm welcome. You are watching Education News Network, where you get to watch the latest data in education at the top of this hour. This is Balaji reporting from ENN and the Delhi Stories are. Banaras Hindu University will begin the registration process for the undergraduate programs for the academic session 2023 to 2024 from June 7. Interested candidates who have appeared in the CUETUG 2023 can fill the application form at the admission portal bhuonline.in. To register, students need to click on the registration link given below the undergraduate program registration. To check the relevant details, applicants should be carefully read the BHU Information Bulletin 2023 available on the web portal before proceeding. The university will only admit students who have appeared in the CUETUG 2023. Last year, the university received 4.34 lakh applicants through CUET, making it the second university to receive such high number of applicants. The university offers a number of programs and the duration of the programs depends on it. The undergraduate programs are the for three years, while the postgraduate programs are for two years and the diploma can be one or two years depending on the diploma program. Ratnesh Kumar discovered the great formula of diversibility by which the diversibility rule of each natural number can be made within few seconds. After the discovery of this formula, there will be no need to learn all the traditional diversibility rules. There is a specific diversibility rule for each natural number in the mathematics. But Rantesh Kumar discovered a formula which works on all natural numbers. This formula is very helpful for the students who are preparing for the competitive exams after completing BE, MBA and BA. Ratnesh Kumar is working as an assistant teacher in UPS Jagatpur, Sultan Ganj District, Manipur, Uttar Pradesh. Ratnesh Kumar is a resident of Bojan Ganj District, Manipur of Uttar Pradesh. His father, late Sri Ram Shakya, was a teacher of English and Mathematics in National Inter College, Manipur. His mother, Srimati Sharda Devi Sankhya, used to teach music and mathematics in Kasturiba Gandhi Balika Inter College, Manipur. Ratnesh Kumar is the eighth and the youngest son of his parents. Ratnesh likes to solve the questions of mathematics and reasoning it. The Assam Chief Minister Himanto Biswa Sharma has announced that the Secondary Education Board of Assam will not conduct the Class 10th board exams for the next academic year. As per the official announcement, from now, Mathematic level exams will be conducted as a class examination. The students will be properly assessed and will be marked as either fail or pass. However, the exams will be conducted at the school level itself. This decision to skip the board exams for Class 10 has been taken as the official believes that the Class 10 exams will not continue to be that significant in the line with the NEP. The minister also notified that soon the Assam Higher Secondary Education Council and the SEBA will be merged. Results of Class 5 and Class 8 annual exams were declared on May 15th in which some students failed due to non-entry of marks. Some students failed in one or two subjects it said. Around 5 lakh answer sheets out of which 3,89,764 students were re-evaluated between May 27th to June 3rd. Schools were also given a window to submit project marks and the department has informed. After that, 44,293 class 5th and 44,752 class 8 students have qualified, the department said. This the revised pass percentage in the class 8 has increased to 80.29% from 76.09%. In class 5, the pass percentage is 86.02 up from the previous results 82.27%. Punjab NRI Affairs Minister Kuldeep Singh Daliwal Tuesday sought the intervention of the External Affairs Minister S. Jay Shankar in the matter of 700 Indian students facing deportation from Canada. In a letter to Jay Shankar, Daliwal also sought time to meet him over the issue. As many as 700 Indian students, mostly from Punjab, are facing deportation from Canada after the authorities in that country found admissions offer letters to education institutions to be fake. The matter came out in light in March when these students applied for permanent residency in Canada. 
I have also sought time to meet the external affairs minister so that the whole matter can be brought to the attention of the GOI personally, Daliwal said. In the letter to the external affairs minister, Daliwal said, These 700 students are innocent and have been cheated by the fraudsters. I shall be highly grateful if you again look into the matter personally and take up the matter with the concerned agencies include High Commission of Canada and the Government of Canada so that these students can be saved from being deported. These students should not be deported and given work permits considering their visa, he said. Puducherry Chief Minister in Rangaswamy on Monday said that the summer vacation for all schools have been extended and institutions would reopen on June 14. Addressing the media persons on the sidelines of a function year, he said as the hot spell continued in the Union Territory, the government decided to postpone the date of reopening of schools to June 14. Earlier, the government had announced the schools would reopen on June 1st and as the hot spell continued, the date of reopening was put off to June 7th. That's all for today. Thank you for watching Education News Network. For more such videos, log on to my website theenn.com and do not forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.